Hello and welcome back to Stay at Home Dad Game Reviews where we are going to continue doing a My Gaming Obsession every week. So, hopefully, I'll actually keep up with this and do it every week. But, as we always are going to start off, we're going to start off with a tiny bit of news and not the obvious stuff that everyone's talking about because, well, like I said last time, you have so many places to check that out. But, I did want to bring up the fact that Romero Games is actually going to be partnering with Sega and Sega is going to be publishing Empire of Sin for Japan and Asia, which is actually really freaking cool. I'm happy to see that they're getting that kind of support and really just going to broaden how many people see that game. That's freaking awesome. I tried to get an interview with Romero once, it did not work. Obviously, it's not on the channel, so maybe I'll try to talk to them again. See if it works this time. I know, it's a real feeling of I'm not important enough to talk to them, but can you blame them? No, <laughs> because they got better shit to do. But whatever, we'll try. And the other bit of gaming news that I wanted to talk about is voting actually starts on the Golden Joystick Awards. Like, right now. You can go vote on stuff right now. It's like the English version of the video game awards here in the U.S. It's pretty cool, and if you wanted to vote on stuff, you know, to affect their ratings, you can go do that right now. And that's it. There's not a whole lot to talk about news-wise this week, and I get the feeling that's going to happen a lot. So, you know, it happens. But... The game I've been waiting to be obsessed with this week is in this bag, and I've been waiting this whole time just so I can open it in front of you guys. And seriously, I am stoked, because the 35th anniversary of Mario is finally at my... Oh, sh that's not right. I'm just kidding. The real joke is on anybody that thought I'd actually purchase that pile of sh <laughs> No, I already own all those games. Nintendo put literally no effort into making them better, upgrading the graphics, even making freaking Mario 64 widescreen. Seriously, Nintendo? You couldn't have done at least that? And the fact that nothing, no booklet on information about any of the games, no game artwork, nothing. There's nothing inside that freaking case except for that tiny little f***ing stupid SD card that is a Switch game. Nintendo doesn't care, so I don't care enough to purchase that, so I actually purchased this, which has around 20 Super Mario World ROMs instead of 3D Mario games. I figured I'm going to start playing the hell out of some Super Mario ROMs that I haven't seen before. So, this is what I've been obsessed with. The really fun thing about going back and playing Super Mario World is... Realizing that the first time Nintendo actually did this compilation, they upgraded the graphics of Super Mario, Super Mario Secret Levels, which is Japan Super Mario 2, Super Mario 2, which in Japan is Super Mario 2 USA, and Super Mario 3, which... Come on, Nintendo, what the f***? Why'd you put so much effort into it back in the 90s, and now you just kind of f***ed out stupid crap now? I mean, okay, whatever. I really don't want to talk about that too much, but this is an awesome cartridge filled with amazing games that a lot of really dedicated people have actually put a lot of time into. There's even one called Dr. Mario's House Calls, which I'm not going to lie, the moment I started it, I was a little bit concerned it was going to be like a weird porn ROM or something, but it wasn't. Actually, instead, you play just regular levels and you don't really get any upgrades like fire flowers or the the cape or anything like that really you just become dr mario big version small version it's not complicated but then instead of castles you have to dive into sick toads destroy the virus inside of them and then you move on it's actually really fun, a really interesting take on Super Mario World, and I also really loved the one where they made Super Mario Land 3, which is a continuation of the Game Boy games that they made back in the day, and this one actually has a bunch of really cool artwork, I really enjoy the style, I really enjoy the feel of it, and 
You know, it does actually just look like Nintendo made the third game for the Game Boy, and this is the upgraded version of it. I really do enjoy these kind of ROMs. They're so fun to play. And then, I mean, like I said, there's more than 20 Super Mario World ROMs on this one cartridge, so I didn't even get to play all of them. But another really cool one that I wanted to point out is Super Mario Brothers: The Invaders of the Mushroom Kingdom. And this one does feel a little bit similar to a bunch of others, but I really enjoy the level design. The level of difficulty isn't like crazy stupid hard where you're just stuck in one spot forever thinking, what the hell am I supposed to do here? But it's also not easy enough that my son can just run right through it with no problem. And yeah, all of these ROMs aren't the best ROMs ever made. I mean, it's got a ROM on here called Mario and Wario. Uh, it looks like a legit game that probably Japan had or something for the Mario Paint mouse. But man, it is way too easy, really dumb, and not a lot of fun. So, you know what? I'm okay with it though, because I actually enjoy these kind of ROMs a hell of a lot more than Nintendo just ROM dumping three of their 3D uh, Mario games onto one cartridge, which, seriously, again, you couldn't have upgraded any of them, you couldn't have made all of them widescreen, and you excluded Super Mario Galaxy 2, the only good galaxy? I mean, yeah, the first one's good enough, until you've played the second one, and then you're like, why the f*** am I playing the first one? But Again, that's not the point I'm trying to make. I love Super Mario ROMs because this has an amazing community behind it that just have a ton of passion, and you can really tell all the work that a lot of these guys put into these games, and really it's something special and amazing, and you don't even have to buy a cartridge like this to play them. You can literally go and download them right now. I'm not going to tell you where because if Nintendo ever watches this, I don't want you wants to know where to cancel the next freaking website that's putting out games for free so you know what go find games that you like to play let me know what your gaming obsession is this week and well go download a get load of nintendo roms because apparently that's all they want to sell you anyway so get all that crap on your computer before they start charging 60 bucks for it i will see you guys next time bye